So today we're going to be taking a look at the Sabretooth X79 board now. This is a blast from the past, from 2011. Now, I always wanted this motherboard over the Gigabyte one that I currently have. And that's because this is kind of best in class at the time anyway for, for X79. So we've currently got the 4820K in the processor uh, slot at the moment. So that's just used as a test one. Because the goal of today is to get NVMe SSDs working. So I've got an adapter which slots into the PCI Express. And the thing is with X79, the chipset, it supports NVMe, but they never actually implemented it. So online you can find a modded BIOS for this motherboard, which I've downloaded. I'm gonna show you how to do. Hopefully by the end of this video, we're gonna be running our 500 gig NVMe drive. So let's go ahead and jump on the computer where we're gonna download our modded Sabertooth X79 BIOS. Okay, so if we head over to this forum post, we can see someone has already submitted a guide on how they modified their BIOS. Again, this is for the Sabertooth X79 board. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this link. I've already downloaded this and I have put in a USB drive and it's been formatted to FAT32. So here's our drive here. What we want to do is format it. I've been told you want to change it to FAT32. So what we do is we'll so you don't want it in any folders, you just want it saved just uh I guess as the only file on the on the drive and now we can head back over to the to the motherboard. Alright, so the processor is literally just in there just to hold the slot so it doesn't get any of the pins damaged. We've plugged in the 24 pin and the 8 pin. Obviously I'm not going to power up this board. What I have done is I've put the modded BIOS on the flash drive and we're going to go ahead and hold this button for 3 seconds. 1, 2, 3. Now this light will apparently start blinking and when it's finished it should be done. Okay so this is pretty jank here, one stick of 4 gig DDR3, uh, the shittest cooler in the world that I've just plonked on top that I'm going to hold down and my old GTX 680 from EVGA. Okay, so one last attempt before I go to bed. One, two, three. Ah, here we go. So I changed my USB drive. And now I think it's working because this is supposed to keep flashing. Okay, so it took about two or three minutes and now the light has gone out and the activity light on the thumb drive has stopped flashing so that should be that should have flashed the modded BIOS now so next what we do is we'll load up our Windows Media and see if we detect our 500 gig crucial drive okay so we have our modded BIOS installed now I've been looking on the forums and everyone's been saying that X79 is old, you can't use NVMe as a boot drive, it won't support it. However, we've loaded up our Windows installation media and I was able to format it straight away, no problems. So let's go ahead and click next. Hey, it's doing it! So you can see our 
drive indicators flashing. Okay, so what I did is I installed Windows on a regular SSD. I booted into Windows normally, went under Disk Manager, formatted this drive, then I loaded up my Windows 10 installation media and it allowed me to install it on the NVMe drive. So I've disconnected the normal SSD and currently we're installing Windows 10 on this. Okay, so it looks like we've booted into Windows. Just restart it. And I'm gonna load up the BIOS. If we look in here, and the boot priority, we've got the boot manager. It's recognizing our, our, um, so that's our installation media. And then that one there will be our, um, SS, uh, our NVMe drive. So uh, again, we see we're using BIOS version 4801. And again, this is with the flashback modded BIOS. And then if we go into advanced mode, we'll see under boot, under the CSM compatibility, I've got these settings here. So boot device control, UFI only, uh, and okay, so I'm gonna quickly do a read and write test just to see what sort of speeds we are running at. Okay, so this is the result of the test. We've got 1892 on the read and 971 on the write. As we can see on Crucial's website, it supports up to 200 megabytes a second. So, so I'm just going to load up my other computer and just do a quick comparison to see what we get over the standard uh, SSD. And here to compare, we've got a Samsung, I think it's a 120 gig Evo drive. And as we can see, we've got 369 read and 278 write. So um, next job is to transplant that motherboard into here, where we've got a GTX 1080 Ti and a 4930 six core processor. Um, so thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful.